Welcome to the Citizen Information Meeting for the Environmental Assessment Re-Evaluation of the Hampton Roads Crossing Study Supplemental Environmental Impact Statement, HRCS SEIS. The Virginia Department of Transportation, VDOT, has developed this informational video to guide viewers through several topics related to the Environmental Assessment Re-Evaluation of the HRCS SEIS. First, we will provide a brief background of the study and then discuss the goals and intent for the meeting. Next, we will explain the proposed updates to the project made by VDOT since the Federal Highway Administration, FHWA, issued the Record of Decision, or ROD. This includes a description of the refinements to the selected action identified in the ROD and the changes and impacts that would occur. Finally, we will explain the study schedule and next steps and how the public can continue to stay informed and provide valuable input into the process. In 2015, FHWA and VDOT initiated the SEIS to reevaluate the original Hampton Roads Crossing study completed in 2001. The SEIS was needed due to the amount of time that had passed since the original study was completed. In June of 2017, FHWA issued an ROD, indicating that Alternative A, which includes widening of I-64 from I-664 in Hampton to I-564 in Norfolk, is a selected action. Since that time, additional refinements have been proposed to the selected action, prompting this EA re-evaluation. The goals of this meeting are to share information that has been developed to date with the community and users of the I-64 Roadway and Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel, or HRBT. VDOT wants your input on this re-evaluation. Specifically, VDOT is seeking input from the public on the environmental impacts related to the refined selected action presented in the re-evaluation. VDOT staff is on hand to discuss the re-evaluation and answer questions you may have. One of the updates included in the re-evaluation is updated wetland mapping. It was determined that the preliminary wetlands estimates provided in the SEIS would be updated using more precise identification methods after the issuance of the ROD. These efforts included a wetland delineation to improve the mapping of wetlands and other water resources and updated impact estimates to those delineated wetlands based on the proposed refinements to the design of the selected action. The EA re-evaluation documents proposed updates to the project that are included in the refined selected action. One key refinement was the inclusion of a management option for the corridor. The final SEIS and ROD indicated that improvements, including the additional capacity proposed along the interstate, could be implemented and operated as managed lanes but were not specifically designated as such at the time. On January 20th, 2018, the Commonwealth Transportation Board, or CTB, approved the designation of high occupancy toll or hot lanes on the new capacity of I-64, including the HRBT. The hot lanes would be in addition to the existing general purpose lanes. The hot lane system would also include a part-time drivable shoulder, one shoulder in each direction, during peak hours. The part-time shoulders seek to improve efficiency of the overall roadway and system, but would not increase capacity. Further, new ramps are proposed to connect the hot lanes in I-564 in order to provide safe and efficient movements at the I-64 and I-564 interchange in Norfolk. The second refinement to the selected action includes the expansion of the study area to include a peninsula located just south of the eastern touchdown point of the HRBT approach bridge on the Willoughby Spit. This area is included in the study area as it is being considered for a potential staging area during construction. The figure on screen shows an aerial view of the proposed improvement locations along I-64. I-64 would be widened to include one hot lane in each direction in addition to the two existing general purpose lanes which will remain. A part-time hot drivable shoulder would also be added within the hot lanes in each direction along I-64. At the HRBT, an additional bridge tunnel would be constructed, resulting in a consistent facility from near the Settlers Landing Road interchange in Hampton to I-564 in Norfolk. 
The typical sections for the main line or land side improvements are shown here in Hampton and Norfolk. Overall, the refined selected action would be 8 feet wider than the selected action identified in the ROD. This would result from the 4 foot wide buffer that is provided in both directions between the hot lanes and the general purpose lanes. The buffer serves to increase the safety and management of the hot lane system. The separation between HOT and GP lanes is not considered a project commitment, but an assumption that would be refined during more detailed design and permitting phases of the project. To further facilitate the inclusion of HOT lanes along the corridor, the refined selected action includes new ramps at the eastern end of the corridor to provide direct access to and from the HOT lanes and I-564. In the absence of these ramps, Travelers would need to make unsafe movements across multiple lanes of high-speed traffic in a relatively short distance to move to and from the hot lanes in I-564. The specific placement and design of these ramps would not be determined until later stages of the project. For the purpose of the re-evaluation, the EA assumes impacts to a large portion of the interchange to ensure a worst-case scenario is documented. During detailed design and permitting phases, Opportunities to reduce these impacts would be investigated. Wetland and stream numbers show measurable changes since the SEIS. Floodplains and forested area are the only two resources that would result in a measurable change in impacts based on the refinements to the selected act. This has occurred for two reasons. First, the existing conditions were updated using information from the field delineation. The initial data gathering for the SEIS did not include identification of streams. Once this information was developed, impacts from the refined selected action could be reported. Second, the refinements to the design of a selected action resulted in other wetland impacts, particularly along the widened portions of I-64 and surrounding the I-564 interchange in Norfolk. More details are presented in the EA re-evaluation and at the other displays at tonight's meeting. VDOT representatives are on hand at the meeting today to answer questions about the details of these and other proposed impacts. The re-evaluation has been made publicly available. The comment period, which is now open, will close on July 20, 2018. Following public review, VDOT will request a NEPA decision from FHWA on the EA to determine if new significant impacts not identified in the SEIS have been identified in the EA. After the FHWA decision is issued, VDOT can incorporate the refined selected action into the project. VDOT wants to hear from you. Your feedback is critical to the success of this study and your opinion matters. Please fill out a survey today at www.surveymonkey.com forward slash r forward slash HRCS re-evaluation or email comments to scott dot s-m-i-z-i-k at v dot dot virginia dot org by July 20th 2018. Be sure to visit the following websites for periodic updates on the Hampton Roads Crossing study or to learn more about the HRBT expansion. Thank you for viewing this informational video. We appreciate your interest and participation in this important study.